Hello and welcome to this session on Jenkins pipeline. In this session we are going to see how to set up build pipeline in Jenkins and as always we are going to go very basic step by step. So let's get started and let's jump to the very first step which is we have to create our jobs and chain them in Jenkins. So let us go to our Jenkins and we have already created these three jobs in our last session sample build job, sample deploy job sample test job and we have also chained these jobs so in case you have not watched the the last session please go and watch the session so now we can directly jump to our second step which is we have to install build pipeline plugin so let us go back to our jenkins and i am going to manage jenkins and here let us go to manage plugins and here go to your available section and here start typing build pipeline now here I am not getting any options because this plugin is already installed in my Jenkins and I have this plugin here in the installed section so if I find here I will find this build pipeline plugin now here you will find this plugin in your available section and you will find the option to download and install this plugin so download and install this plugin and then let us go to our third step which is we have to add build pipeline view in Jenkins so let us go back to our Jenkins dashboard and I am going to this plus icon here I will click here and here I will create a view let us name it as build pipeline test and you have to select the option for build pipeline view and this option you will get only after installing the plugin and let us say ok and here we have got the configuration window for this view so here you can give any name you can give any description for now let us keep all the other options as default and let us select the initial job as our sample build job so I'm selecting my sample build job as my initial job and then let us go to apply and let us say ok and here you can see it has already taken our last run and it is showing us the view the build pipeline view now in case you have not ran your job even once this view will be empty so you can run your chained jobs and as soon as you will run you will get this view now one thing to notice here is I am getting only the details of the last run so you can go back to the configure from here and here you can select the number of displayed build so I will select it to 5 and say apply and ok and now you can see it is showing us all the last runs now let us quickly explore the options we have got this run button here so you can click this run button and it will start the run so you can see so I actually clicked it two times so you can see build number 5 and 6 getting triggered and here the first job is completed and second and third jobs are not completed and let us explore some other options here so if you go to any of this style you will get this link for the job so you can directly click here and you can go directly to the job window where you can see the jobs configure it and do all the actions on that particular job and then you will also see at the bottom of the tile you have this option to view the console so if you click here it will show you the console output of that job and if you get this kind of a window where no data is being displayed you can go back to the configure of this view and here go down and in the section console output link style you can select new window or this window I will select new window and apply and ok and now if you go to the console it will display the console output of that particular job in a new window and also we have this button to rerun the particular job so if you click this button that particular job will get triggered so this is what you can do of course you can go to the history and you can look at all the history of the jobs so you can see it is showing us on this timeline as well as it is showing us this view separately the other options are you can go to the configure of the view directly from here as we have already done you can add a new job clicking on this add step 
you can delete this view with this delete and manage button will take you to the manage Jenkins dashboard so this is how you can create and configure the build pipeline the last step which is run and validate we have already done it I hope this session was very useful for you in case you have any feedback please do write them down in the comments section below thanks for watching and keep learning